Have you ever felt like you're waiting for something, but you're not quite sure what or when it will happen? Maybe you're in a season of uncertainty, longing for change, but feeling stuck in the waiting. If so, know that you're not alone. Today, we're diving into the powerful truth about trusting in the timing of God's plan and the transformative impact of prayer in our lives. Prayer isn't just about saying words. It's about opening up your heart to God, your Heavenly Father, who loves you more than you can imagine. It's like having a heart-to-heart -heart conversation with your best friend, except this friend is the creator of the universe, who knows you inside and out. When we pray, we're not just talking into the air. We're speaking directly to God. He hears every word, every sigh, and every whisper of our hearts. And even when we don't have all the right words to say, He understands the language of our souls. Prayer is our lifeline to God, our way of connecting with Him on a deep, personal level. It's where we find solace in times of trouble, strength in times of weakness, and hope in times of despair. Through prayer, we invite God into every aspect of our lives, trusting Him to guide us, protect us, and provide for us. So, if you've ever felt overwhelmed or alone, remember that you're never too far from God's reach. He's always listening, always ready to lend a helping hand, and always faithful to His promises. In the journey of faith, prayer is our most powerful tool, our greatest comfort, and our surest hope. But what happens when we pray, and nothing seems to change? How do we hold on to faith, when the answers we seek are delayed or seem elusive? Here's where trust comes in. Trust isn't just a passive belief. It's an active choice to surrender control and believe that God's plan is unfolding, even when we can't see it. Trust means knowing that God's timing is perfect, even when it doesn't align with our own. Trust is like a sturdy bridge that connects us to God's promises. It's the foundation of our faith journey, holding us steady when the storms of life threaten to shake us. When we trust in God, we're saying, I believe that you are who you say you are, and I trust that you will do what you say you will do. But building trust takes time. It's not always easy, especially when circumstances seem bleak or prayers go unanswered. Yet, it's precisely in those moments of doubt and uncertainty that our trust is tested and strengthened. Think about a tightrope walker. They step out onto the thin wire, knowing that their safety harness is secure. In the same way, when we trust in God, we're stepping out in faith, knowing that He will catch us if we fall. Trusting in God's timing means surrendering our need for control and embracing His sovereignty. It means relinquishing our plans and agendas and allowing God to lead us, even when His path seems unclear. Look at the story of Joseph in the Bible. He endured years of hardship and betrayal before God's ultimate plan for his life was revealed. But through it all, Joseph remained steadfast in his trust in God, knowing that his timing was perfect. So, how do we cultivate this kind of unwavering trust in our own lives? It starts with knowing God's character. He is faithful, loving, and just. He has proven time and again that he can be trusted even when our circumstances tell us otherwise. Another key aspect of trust is surrender. It's laying down our worries, fears, and doubts at the feet of Jesus and choosing to trust him with the outcome. It's letting go of our need to understand everything and simply resting in the assurance that God knows what's best for us. And finally, trust is strengthened through relationship. The more time we spend with God, the more we come to know Him and trust Him. It's in those quiet moments of prayer and reflection that our trust grows deeper, like the roots of a tree sinking into fertile soil. So, friend, if you're struggling to trust in God's timing today, take heart. You're not alone, and God is with you every step of the way. Lean into His promises, cling to His word, and watch as your trust in Him grows stronger with each passing day. But how do we cultivate this kind of unwavering trust, especially in the face of uncertainty and doubt? 
Consider the story of Abraham and Sarah, who waited decades for the fulfillment of God's promise of a child. Despite their doubts and fears, they held on to faith, believing that God's timing would prevail. And sure enough, in his perfect timing, Isaac was born, fulfilling God's promise beyond their wildest dreams. But what about the moments of doubt that inevitably arise while waiting for God's timing? It's natural to question and wonder why things aren't happening according to our plans. However, it's precisely in those moments of doubt that our faith is tested and strengthened. Think about it this way. If everything happened exactly when and how we wanted it to, would we truly learn to rely on God? Would we grow in patience, perseverance, and trust? Probably not. It's in the waiting that our character is refined and our faith deepened. So, how can we emulate Abraham and Sarah's faith in our own lives, trusting in God's timing even when it feels like we've been waiting forever? First, we must remind ourselves of God's track record. Look back on your life and remember the times when God came through for you in unexpected ways. Reflect on His faithfulness, His provision, and His perfect timing. If He's done it before, He can certainly do it again. Next, we need to surrender our timelines and expectations to God. Often, our impatience stems from a desire to control outcomes and dictate how and when things should happen. But God's ways are higher than ours, and His timing is always perfect. Let go of the need to understand everything and trust that God is working behind the scenes, orchestrating His plan for your life. Lastly, we must remain steadfast in prayer and communion with God. Prayer isn't just about asking for what we want. It's about aligning our hearts with God's will and surrendering to His timing. Keep pouring out your heart to Him, even when it feels like He's silent. Trust that He hears your prayers and is working on your behalf, even in the waiting. So, if you find yourself in a season of waiting, take heart. God hasn't forgotten you, and His timing is always perfect. Keep trusting, keep believing, and watch as God unfolds His plan for your life, in ways you never could have imagined. Picture a farmer sowing seeds in a field. He doesn't see instant results. He must wait patiently for the seeds to take root, grow, and eventually bear fruit. Similarly, our prayers are like seeds, planted in the soil of God's timing. They require time, care, and faith to flourish. But patience isn't just about waiting idly. It's an active trust in God's plan. It's knowing that even when we can't see the fruits of our prayers, God is at work beneath the surface, preparing the way for His perfect timing to unfold. Perseverance, on the other hand, is the determination to keep praying, keep believing, even when the journey is long and the road is rocky. It's holding on to hope in the face of adversity, knowing that God is faithful to fulfill His promises. Consider the story of Joseph in the Bible. He endured years of hardship and suffering from being sold into slavery by his own brothers to being unjustly imprisoned. Yet through it all, Joseph remained steadfast in his faith, trusting in God's plan for his life. And in the end, God elevated him to a position of power and influence, using him to save his family and countless others from famine. In our own lives, we may face trials and tribulations that test our patience and perseverance. We may wonder if God has forgotten us, or if our prayers are falling on deaf ears. But like Joseph, we must hold on to the promise that God is with us, working all things together for our good. So, in the midst of waiting, let us not grow weary or lose heart. Let us press on in prayer, knowing that every moment spent in communion with God is not in vain. For in His perfect timing, God will bring about the change we seek, far beyond what we could ask or imagine. As we cultivate patience and perseverance in our prayer life, let us also remember the words of Psalm 27 verse 14, Wait for the Lord. Be strong and take heart and wait for the Lord. May these words be a source of encouragement and strength as we trust in God's timing for change in our lives.
But what about when change finally comes? How do we navigate the unexpected twists and turns of God's plan? Change can be uncomfortable, even frightening, but it's often in the moments of greatest uncertainty that God is at work, shaping us and molding us into who He created us to be. Change is an inevitable part of life, like the changing seasons or the ebb and flow of the tide. Just as we can't stop the sun from rising or the leaves from falling, we can't always control the changes that come our way. But what we can control is how we respond to change, especially when it feels like the ground beneath us is shifting. Think about a caterpillar transforming into a butterfly. At first, it may seem like chaos as the caterpillar spins its cocoon and undergoes a radical metamorphosis. But in the end, what emerges is a thing of beauty soaring on wings of freedom. In the same way, God uses the changes in our lives to transform us, molding us into the image of His Son. Let's consider the story of Joseph once more, who endured years of hardship and betrayal before God's plan for his life was revealed. From being sold into slavery by his own brothers to languishing in prison for a crime he didn't commit, Joseph's journey was filled with twists and turns. But through it all, God was at work, preparing him for a position of power and influence that would ultimately save his family and fulfill God's greater purpose. In our own lives, change can feel like a storm raging around us, threatening to overwhelm and consume us. But even in the midst of the chaos, God is our anchor, holding us steady and guiding us through the tumultuous waters. Trusting in His promise to never leave us or forsake us, we can navigate the storms of change with confidence, knowing that He is with us every step of the way. So, when change comes knocking at your door, embrace it as an opportunity for growth and transformation. Instead of resisting or fearing the unknown, surrender control to the One who holds the universe in His hands. For in the midst of change, we discover the unchanging nature of God's love and faithfulness, anchoring our souls in the midst of life's storms. As we journey through the seasons of change, may we cling to the promise that God is always at work, weaving together the threads of our lives into a beautiful tapestry of His grace and mercy. And may we rest in the assurance that His timing is perfect, His plan is flawless, and His love endures forever. Now, let's dive into some practical steps we can take to strengthen our faith and trust in God's timing. Firstly, commit to a consistent prayer life. Set aside a specific time each day, whether it's in the morning, during your lunch break, or before bed, to connect with God in prayer. Create a quiet space free from distractions where you can pour out your heart to Him, sharing your joys, concerns, and desires. Remember, Prayer isn't about reciting fancy words or following a specific formula. It's about opening up your heart and being honest with God, just like you would with a close friend. Secondly, immerse yourself in God's Word. Spend time reading and meditating on Scripture daily, allowing it to renew your mind and strengthen your faith. God's Word is like a lamp to guide our steps and a source of comfort and encouragement in times of need. Consider keeping a journal where you can write down verses that resonate with you or record insights and reflections from your time in Scripture. Thirdly, cultivate an attitude of gratitude. Take time each day to thank God for His blessings, both big and small. Gratitude shifts our focus from what we lack to what we have, fostering a spirit of contentment and trust in God's provision. Consider starting a gratitude journal where you can jot down things you're thankful for each day, or simply take a few moments before bed to reflect on the blessings of the day. Fourthly, surround yourself with a supportive community of believers. Seek out fellowship with other Christians who can encourage, pray for, and hold you accountable in your faith journey. Whether it's through joining a small group, attending church services regularly, or participating in online faith communities, Having a strong support network can make all the difference in staying grounded in your faith and trusting in God's timing. Lastly, 
Be patient and persistent in your prayers. Trust that God hears every prayer you utter and that He is working behind the scenes, even when it seems like nothing is happening. Don't lose heart if answers don't come immediately or if things don't unfold according to your timeline. Keep pressing into God, seeking His will and His timing above your own. Remember, God's ways are higher than our ways and His timing is always perfect. By implementing these practical steps into your daily life, you'll not only deepen your relationship with God, but also strengthen your trust in His timing and His plan for your life. May you find comfort, peace, and hope as you continue to walk in faith and reliance on the power of prayer. But what if you're still struggling to trust in God's timing? Where do you turn when doubts and fears threaten to overwhelm you? Let me share with you a personal story of a time when I wrestled with doubt and uncertainty, only to discover God's faithfulness in ways I never could have imagined. I remember a time when I felt completely lost, unsure of which direction to turn. I had been praying fervently for a breakthrough in my career, but months went by with no sign of change. Doubt crept in, and I began to question whether God was listening to my prayers at all. But in the midst of my darkest moments, God showed up in unexpected ways. A friend reached out to me out of the blue, offering me a job opportunity that seemed tailor-made for my skills and passions. It was as if God was whispering to me, I haven't forgotten about you. I'm still working behind the scenes. Through that experience, I learned firsthand the power of trusting in God's timing. Sometimes our prayers are answered in ways we never could have predicted, and it's in those moments that we see God's hand at work most clearly. I also want to share a testimony from a member of our community who experienced a similar journey of waiting and trusting. Elisa had been praying for healing from a chronic illness for years, but the breakthrough she longed for seemed out of reach. Yet, in the midst of her pain and uncertainty, Elisa clung to her faith, trusting that God had a plan for her life. And sure enough, in his perfect timing, Elisa received the healing she had been praying for. It wasn't an overnight miracle, but a gradual journey of restoration and renewal. Through her testimony, Elisa reminds us that God's timing is always perfect, even when it doesn't align with our own. These personal reflections and testimonials serve as powerful reminders that we are never alone in our struggles. God hears our prayers, and He is always working behind the scenes, orchestrating His perfect plan for our lives. So, hold on to hope, dear friend, and trust that God is with you every step of the way. Now, let's bring it all together with a powerful prayer and conclusion. My friend, if you're in a season of waiting, remember this. God hears your prayers, and He is working behind the scenes, even when it feels like nothing is happening. Trust in His timing, have faith in His plan, and never lose hope. Keep praying, keep believing, and watch as God moves mountains in your life. But remember, trusting in God's timing doesn't mean sitting idly by. It's an active choice to surrender control and align our will with His. So, as you wait, continue to seek His guidance, take steps of faith, and walk in obedience to His Word. And when doubts creep in and fears threaten to overwhelm you, cling to the promises found in Scripture. Remember the words of Isaiah 40 verse 31, But those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength. They will soar on wings like eagles. They will run and not grow weary. They will walk and not be faint. So, take heart, dear friend, for God is faithful and His timing is perfect. Your breakthrough may be just around the corner, so keep pressing on, keep trusting, and keep believing. Your prayers are heard and change is on the horizon. May you find peace in the waiting, strength in the journey, and joy in the blessings to come. And may you always remember that with God, all things are possible. Keep the faith and watch as He works wonders in your life. And now, let's bow our heads for a moment and communicate with our Heavenly Father. 
Heavenly Father, as we bow before your throne today, we come with hearts brimming with gratitude for your boundless love and unending faithfulness. You are the Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end, the author and finisher of our faith. In your presence, we find solace, strength, and hope. Lord, in this moment of prayer, we surrender all our fears, doubts, and uncertainties at your feet. We acknowledge that you are sovereign over every circumstance and that your plans for us are perfect, even when they seem shrouded in mystery. Help us, O oh God, to trust in your timing, to lean not on our own understanding, but to acknowledge you in all our ways, knowing that you will direct our paths. Grant us the patience to wait upon you, Lord, even when the wait feels long and the journey arduous. Teach us to embrace each moment of waiting as an opportunity to draw closer to you, to deepen our faith, and to cultivate a spirit of humility and dependence upon you. For in the waiting, you are at work, refining us, shaping us, and preparing us for the blessings you have in store. Father, we confess that there are times when our faith wavers, when we struggle to believe that you are indeed working all things together for our good. Forgive us for our lack of trust and fill us afresh with your Holy Spirit that we may be strengthened in our inner being, rooted and grounded in your love. Lord, we lift up to you every burden, every worry, and every prayer that weighs heavy on our hearts. You know the desires of our hearts, Lord, and we lay them before you now, trusting that you hear our cries and that you will answer according to your perfect will. Whether it be healing for a loved one, provision in times of need, or guidance in moments of uncertainty, we trust that your hand is upon us, guiding, protecting, and providing every step of the way. Help us, O oh God, to fix our eyes not on the things seen, but on the things unseen. For the things seen are temporary, but the things unseen are eternal. May our faith be unwavering, our hope steadfast, and our love abounding as we press on toward the prize of the upward call of God in Christ Jesus. Lord, as we conclude this prayer, we do so with hearts full of thanksgiving for the privilege of communion with you. May our lives be a living testimony of your goodness and grace, reflecting your light and love to a world in need of hope. And may all glory, honor, and praise be unto you, now and forevermore. In the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, we pray, Amen. If this message has resonated with you today, I encourage you to like, comment, and share this video with others who may need to hear these words of hope and encouragement. And if you haven't already, consider subscribing to our channel for more inspirational content to uplift and strengthen your faith journey.